Good morning, Mounties. I'm Val, and here are your morning announcements. Congratulations to the RHS girls tennis team for placing third in state this week. Kayla Haddock and Cameron Barr, top eight doubles team at state. Erica Jagernoth, third place, finish in singles. Long and Brittany Matthews, third place, finish in doubles. Congratulations to the Mountie football team for defeating Van Buren last Friday with a score of 24 to 17. Good job, guys. RHS TV recorded a video. Let's watch. We definitely, we started off slow offensively and defensively, but I think uh, some minor adjustments during halftime. We came out, we ran the ball like we know we can. We just got to keep it with that mentality that we can run the ball hard all the time. We got I'm, we, just, it's not, it's in here. It doesn't matter what's on the playbook. It's about how much you want it in here. They picked us for a homecoming game, and we took that as a slap in the face. So we had to come out here and show them that they're not going to do it next year. Very close, but I mean, like I always say, I can't do it by myself. I've got an amazing offensive line. They're learning. They're young, and I'm just I'm proud of everyone. Well, anytime you go on the road and, and, and uh, get a win, it's, it's a good it's a good win. So uh, tough place to play. Got behind early, came back, overcame some penalties, and uh, a win's a win. It's a conference win. We do I thought our defense actually played their best game of the year. Thought they played well for four quarters. I think we left probably 150 yards out on the field with some drop balls and some penalty situations. Uh, you know, we got to get better at that. We well, play the number one team in the state. You know, they've won several state championships over there. So, again, we're going to kind of find out if we're making some strides towards getting to be one of those teams like Menville or Harbor or, or Fayetteville. So, uh, we'll find out a lot about ourselves. Don't forget Mounties, this Friday the Mounties football play at home against Benville. Game starts at 7. If you can't attend the game, watch our live stream. You can watch on our YouTube channel, Rogers High School Television. Good luck to all the choir members competing in the all-region choir this weekend. Some more Latinos coming up. It'll be on October 27th from 8.30 to 11.30. Tickets will be sold during both an A and B lunches, $5. Our HSTV recorded some highlights on DECA's best scene in the house. Let's take a look. Recently, at the Rogers vs. Heritage game, DECA held a promotion called the best seat in the house. Here's an interview with Tom Woodruff, DECA's advisor. Every year about this time, uh, DECA sponsors the what we call the best seat in the house. And part of that involves uh, soliciting uh, money in the uh, commons during lunches where students buy a ticket for a dollar. And then uh, uh, after about three or four days of that, we have a drawing. And the student's name that we draw uh, wins what we call the best seat in the house. And what that means is they're featured on a platform with uh, a couple of friends with, on furniture donated by Mosers in front of Smot at that Friday's football game. And so in, in conjunction with that, then we solicit from the fans uh, for, uh, for the Arkansas Children's Hospital, and we raised over twelve hundred dollars for the uh, Children's Hospital in that uh, in that regard. Jeb Sample, a senior, uh, was the um, uh, winning had the winning ticket. Doctor Valines came up to me in the second half and said, "Hey, if we score another touchdown, why don't you and I get up on that platform and do some uh, jumping jacks?" There were. We scored and it was 43 jumping jacks that Dr. Valines and I both did on the platform that the best seat in the house was on. And it was fun. And then uh, I, um, I know that he and I both have had lots of teasing this week in regard to that from the faculty and students. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Woodruff. Hey. The ASVAP Arm for Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery will be given on Wednesday, October 25th at A25 in the lecture hall. Juniors and seniors may sign up to take the test in the calendar's office. There will be no charge. Rogers High School students are invited to join more than 18,000 students in the 600 schools who participate in the Chick-fil-A Leader Academy. Chick-fil-A put a, together a promo. Let's watch.
If you want to see what's happening around the school, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Rogers High School TV. The RHS band plays straight in this week's regional marching assembly assessment. RHS TV recorded the event. Let's watch some highlights. Don't forget, Mounties, this Friday and next Monday, we don't have school. Four-day weekend. Well, that's it, Mounties. Thank you for watching, and remember, it's a great day to be a Mountie. Yeah.